<laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode of In Opinions. I'm Jazz. We got Pooh, as always, over there. Whoa. And then over here, we have Gary. And then we have two very special guests today. Special yep. guests, man. Megan, yeah. Rachel, ladies first. Whoa, nah, whoa, nah. Then we have the Mark season. Whoa, what's going on? So, we, we got some comedians up here, so we're going to have to be funny, y'all. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. I'm got out, some just, real just don't, funny just don't. Guys. Just don't force it. Just don't force it. Don't force it. <laughs> don't force right. it. No. We never force anything here. We got real comedians, though. Yeah, we don't, we don't even have to be as funny. We got real comedians. <laughs> they going to hit you with that dish real quick. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm going to fake laugh. We're we going to yeah, fake laugh. Just sure. do that little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yo, oh, no. we got some really. Our, our topics really tonight are all over the place, oh, yeah. which I'm oh, excited gone. about. Gone. Megan, she thinks they're too serious, but. We gon' yeah, we gonna you know, make we be, hitting, we be coming with the serious shit. Yeah, we gotta be serious. We gotta balance it out. A little comic relief, comic. right? That's why we got y'all here. Yes. Funny people have serious shit to talk about. All the time. Yeah. I'm always yeah. accused of being too serious. Because we always got serious shit going on. But a lot on. of the comedy always come serious. from, like, real stuff you make yeah, exactly. fun of. Right. Right. A lot of pain in your jokes. You people are getting too sensitive these days. You got to, like, walk on eggshells. Some people don't. Right. I, guess. I like That's why you need comedians. Like, exactly. Yes. Exactly. Can't talk but about crack and peace. People. Gary, people. Gary, <laughs> Gary was just playing a song. What was the name of that song? Your girl. Hi, it girl, Megan. Megan's The Stallion song. Um, Ride or Die. Ride or Die, which had a familiar beat. You know, um, that's going to be our first topic. We're in New Orleans. What is it called? The Trigger Man beat? People are taking it. Trigger Man mixed with the brown beat. Yeah. Right? People are taking it and running with it. And I want to know how y'all feel about it. So wait, who mad? produced this? Black and Mop. Black and Mop. Black and Mop producer. Is that the only New Orleans person on the song? And Vicky Lowe. Okay. Which is like the bounce, bounce The bounce artist on it. Well, I also. said, if, if Black and My Producer and she got a legit new yeah. woman, you can't hate them. Yeah. I, I'm cool. Yeah. When they include us in it, I feel yeah. better about it. It's just when they take something and they completely make it, or like they my own, and completely yeah. ignore and that it's from New Orleans. Right, right. Like right. the people who use that chopper beat with the Kardashian. Yeah, man. Uh, young oh, Bird. Yeah, yeah. Foolishness. Yeah. Like, yeah. They didn't even film the video here or something. He didn't even change the beat. <laughs> he I ain't gonna lie, but even my Beyonce lovers, when she did that video, when yeah. she had that long, long braid, she had the hat that was down here. Mm -mm. What that was? Formation. Yeah, for, no, it was that formation. Mm -hmm. okay. Formation, and she did everything down here, and then she had a tour, and she didn't stop in New Orleans on her tour. It didn't. No. And nobody noticed that. Everybody was like, oh, my God. No, Beyonce. she did. She didn't. Ah, she did. She did a part two. She, she read oh, up. Oh, she did a, a part two of the tour? Nah, they extended the formation. She, she came. Oh, because she didn't for the first oh, tour. Because I went to Big Frida nah. came out. Right, Frida right, came out with her. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was Beyonce. I'm like, Beyonce looked a little sick, but it was I'm all right with as long as somebody. You stupid. As long as somebody from New Orleans get a check Yeah. I'm cool. That's how I feel. Like, if nobody from New Orleans ain't get a check, then I got a problem. I feel pleased. I understand why I was bitter, because I'm not in any of the videos. It's hard, bro. Music is music. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, producers could switch that shit any kind of way that they want just yeah. because of the sound. They you can't. can't really hate it. But the sound you is... You demand a check. That's because, our sound. Fuck all that. Yeah, that's what that's I'm saying. That's my point. I feel like we only Period. feel like that when it's... All right. I feel like it's our sound, but I also feel like we don't capitalize on it. We because don't. Outside of outside of a bounce artist... Nobody not using it. And the exactly. bounce artist not capitalizing. Because they don't, they don't know how to. Yeah, they do. They don't, you, they don't know how, how to. They only know how to capitalize how as far as, really as local look? celebrity. Like, when it comes to being national, do you have to take your marketing and because strategy to Because you can't be a, a one-trick pony. Another, yeah. That's the thing. In order to be, be national, you can't yeah. just give them that You got to know how to you rap. Gotta you got to know how to sing. Yeah. You got to know how to do everything. But how many New Orleans artists who y'all know personally actually have a have a, have an album, right, with all regular beats and then throw a bounce track on there, too? Most of them. Wayne and did it a couple. I mean, of Wayne might do it. Wayne Soldier, they used to do that. We don't. The new artists, they don't do that no more. They they don't. Who are the new artists? New artists that's they stray. They who they stray the, away from uh, bounce music. Let's do music. that though. Who's who's the like New Orleans artist right now? That's me. All I think is bounce. Um, people. Big Frida. Bounce. 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 Oh, you mean like bounce? Period. Period. No, 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 period. 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 In general. Like who we, we got Tank and the Bangers. Really artists. We got Tank. Tank. D1. We got Tank and the Bangers. D1. I just heard it though. Um, tank and the Bangers. PJ Morton. PJ. Tank. Um, PJ had like a bounce beat song. Dream. Yeah, PJ. Yeah, but did. that's yeah, PJ. Yeah, he PJ. Did. New Orleans girl. Yeah, PJ did a lot of bounce stuff on this. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, he played. He, he played. He paid tribute a lot. Yeah, yeah he does. Yeah, sure. I think I'm angry because one, Cause like you, you said, it's not enough person. representation. If you have the beat, I feel like off top, you need to have the video here. 
the video shouldn't be anywhere else. Oh, because you know what I hate? Dealing with the culture. You right. know what I hate? Girls who shake to bounce music really fast. Yeah. Like that's, they just pop, like yeah, that's, vibrate. That's, 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 that's annoying. It annoys me. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying do though. Do so don't put them in the video yeah. having a seizure. Yeah. Yeah. Even girls with the biggest butts and they be they so just be moving, like, moving, and I just still be like, not about to get that. got that special. Speaking of moving, six wall shake from nobody. Yes. But we need to hear. First of all, it ain't out of time. People call it twerking. Right. It's shaking down here. Like, right. I call it. It's shaking. And even twerking it started down twerking. here. Yeah, twerking. Yeah. With Cheeky twerking. Black. With Cheeky twerking. Black. With yeah, the twerking. twerking is what she was trying to do. She was trying to challenge me when she... Yeah, that's yeah. twerking. Yeah. That's what called twerking. What about what somebody said moving and made me think of the Kayla girl from Instagram move like a snake. Hate it. <laughs> hate it. Wait, you hate the song or you hate her? I hate the song. Yeah, okay. I think I hate cool. her and the song equally. <laughs> I think... I don't like y'all the know, song. Y'all remember that same movie about that like a snake? Bow. That's what they said. She took a bone like song and like made Bow. it hers. I think that one sounds so like spe- that might be retarded. the coolest like, I've heard in my life. It just moved like I a snake. I mean, one is moved made like for the snake. younger generation. That's they don't need that cool. much substance. <laughs> okay. She just repeat the cool. same thing over and over. And, and then she does that like dance. But I'm gonna be real with y'all. A bounce beat the easiest beat in the world to rap up. It probably is. Easily. The pattern, the rhythm. All us can make a hit. All us can rap off a bounce beat. Somebody gonna like that. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not with it. Yo. I'm not with it. We could be the new faster boys. We're going to be a new faster boy. Even faster boy. <laughs> Even faster. <I'm> <laughs> the fastest boy. Wait, so back in the day, what, what y'all do? Back, back in the day, the when day. y'all used to dance and stuff, y'all used to serve girls. Yes. Huh? Serve them. Yeah, <laughs> That's the only, the only dancing nigga knows. Yeah. yeah. Pelvic, y'all look like a pelvic, a pelvic thrust. thrust. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Y'all nigga pilot. definitely used to thrust a little bit. Yeah. 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 And one of your partners come put a hand on your back. Or you be in a dance and they be like, you ain't going to get on her and then throw you on her. They all are going yeah. down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> 25 years ago, back in the and day. And we was the ones going, stop. But you realize that's get a charge. Get off me. Yeah. That's yeah. a whole move. Stop, get off me. But then chew it up a little bit more so they can fill that hole with me. Probably girls that go to clubs just to be like, well, got him. <laughs> him touching me. So we all agree, Sexual though, harassment. to get back to the people stealing our music that they need to respect where it came from. So have like a... Yeah, don't add all that chopped and screw neither. Leave it leave oh, away. Yeah, 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 let yeah. it be bounce. Like, you if you're going to use the bounce, let it be New Orleans. You need a, a, a shout out at the least. The shout For out real. to the And a New Orleans producer. And so somebody black from out. New Orleans need to get yeah. paid. Like, yeah. that's, that's kind of like. A the lot thing. of those bounce beats y'all been hearing, though, coming out the city. That people been using Black and Mild been producing them. Yeah, he so, been producing so a lot. Even that in my feelings by Drake and yeah, all that. That's yeah, that's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was that's good. For some strange reason, I'm I'm really thinking that they really starting to truly understand the the, the business the, the side appreciation of, it. of the waters though. Yeah. Like just industry wise, I feel like they they starting to get it. Well, I yeah. think that been there. Just with t- but no, it ain't been the the respect. Yes, like, I think the, Katrina the respect, started it. Like when you're talking about the the top people that in like artists that in like the historical shit that didn't happen through cash money and no limit. Right. But I think they recognize and through it. time. Like like oh, I really feel yeah. like New Orleans made it cool to be from the south. Yeah. Oh yeah, like, for sure. And cash money that made it cool. Like they really like Atlanta kind of got the little credit for it. Mm. So I see what you're going with that. But we really started that south shit. I'm proud. But talk to all those but Atlanta artists that's coming up right now. All them say this. All them say. Ask them who their favorite artist was. They'll really be like, was. they'll say the Hot Boys, Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? They'll pick a particular Hot Boy. But what I'm saying, but what I'm saying, we're gonna talk about that in yeah. a few minutes. It's coming. It's next it's one. Right? Coming. New so, Orleans people ain't going. So we can agree though. We can do a PSA to so right. all these other artists if you're gonna use our stuff. We we'll keep using respect. it because no, light keep on the using city it. Is like yes. Light. But, we want but, a shout out or something. But cut yeah. somebody from the city of Texas. <laughs> yeah. Megan be rapping. Megan be rapping. So, yeah. cut, street cred. My dog up. street cred in the building. Street cred in the building. No, no, no. make her. Got yeah, the baby man. bangs. <laughs> but you brought up a good point. You said um, something about the rappers and the drugs. If, uh, I guess I'll say this first. What you gonna say? Because I, I'm known for being an insensitive nigga. All right, go for it. I'm cool with that. So we can clean it up later. Rest in peace to everybody who has died. I don't want to make that mean, he about make to it something. light he about, to say something about loose. anybody he else who who died. He about to like, say something loose. if anybody you know <laughs> from an overdose or whatever the case He's may gonna... be, you know, sorry for your loss. Go ahead. Go but, ahead. That, go ahead. That, that That's all you gonna say? I'm gonna just say it because I might say something later. Might come so back later. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. So you know, before I said that, I said uh. sorry for your loss. 
All right, well, we were going to talk about the connection between the, I keep saying the young rappers because it's that generation and the drugs, the lean. Yeah. I don't even know the drugs because I don't do them. Um, oh, there. shut up. I know a lot of drugs. I don't do them. <laughs> what is Never it? Never did drugs. Lean. No Percocet. The Percocet. The drug. They just code have code names something. and I can't keep up. Opioids, Opioids, Percocet. Man. Yeah, they just kill. They just ramshacking their grandma's uh, cat. Whatever they can get their hands on. Buku pills and just overusing. Yeah. And I, Basically, I in the pill I feel like form. anything used excessively oh, is bad for you. I don't care what it is. It could be something... Benadryl. Uh, yeah, it could be, it could be Tylenol. But if you're using it in excess and you're just going above, like, that's not good. Your insides can't take all that. Kind of that's chemically made. Kind of There's buccal we talk chemical in, in it. So as soon as you put it in your First body, ball, messing with your liver. I feel like hip-hop is the... Is the that's the source of the culture at this point. Like, from right. white people to the, to, the, to the youngsters, I feel like that shit started with our generation first, <clears throat> and then, like, first of all, the, the main consumers <clears throat> is white people and kids. Mm -hmm. They the ones that's influenced by this opioid epidemic. Mm -hmm. That shit started with a nigga that we hold home, it's Wayne. It's BG. You know another Wayne. thing, though? No, it wasn't BG. No, it wasn't BG. That, 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 was, that was influential that was a, to us. That was, that was different back then. Wayne made it influential oh, to the world. Way, like, way all these niggas that started got influenced influence 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 through this nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, straight up. I hate to say it, dog. Because he was influenced, but he took it to another level. That's a lot to put on a person. It is. In an individual. What I would say is, though, well, Think about people that went to school with us that was on that shit, that was on, like, Ritland yeah. and Adderall and stuff like that. Right. They start looking for that new high. They did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot did. of these kids, so they, they was on bored. that stuff. They, they was on that bored. Adderall and stuff, too, man. They need that. They need to keep that high going. Once they get that prescription gone, That's true. they're looking for something new. I never, I never, I never thought about and it like, like that. When you go out so young, too, yeah. you're so young, you're not developed yet. Your mind not fully developed yet, mm -hmm. so you're still trying to seek out I was listening. You don't have that. So you're trying, yeah, you're trying to numb yourself rest throughout in peace, this journey. Rest in peace, Juice World. But I was listening to a Juice interview with him on Breakfast Club. Yeah. And he was saying how his parents had him on. Adderall's from a young age. But see, that's mm -hmm. all the way to the time he you got kids. Until the time he got school. older. That go with the school system. Right. And all that type of shit. Exactly. You got the kids who can't the act up, who supposedly act up, and they take them to the doctor. The first thing they do is prescribe them. Something. Hell. So if you prescribe well, them, well. so that's actually that's <laughs> actually know. what's going on that's with the, these the, these right. children trying to. Which is scary. They trying to keep. They trying to keep. It's all. It's a billion dollars. They trying to fight. They trying to find that feeling, y'all. That same feeling that they've been getting their whole. So life. But what I'm saying is the, 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 the cool one. factor. Because it wasn't, we didn't grow up with it. Like you it was ashamed cool. to be on medicine. Yeah. It wasn't cool. Like we didn't look up to the yeah. dope heads as they was cool. Yeah. Crack Crackheads looking like they was cool. No, we like, no. We saw that. the, now we not fucking with that. Right. Somewhere it changed from being cool to be a dope fiend. So, yeah, to, the to the be the user. Did y'all know yeah. that? But that's what I'm trying cool. to tell you. Did y'all know that the rappers now, so I'm assuming like Juice World and the ones that want the finger, wear the fingernail polish are referred to as emo rappers? Yeah, because they so depressed. But they dealing like with medication. Yeah, the medication oh, got them but down. But they actually emo called them emo rappers. Yeah. Rap. So emotional. But rap? when I yeah. think of emo, I used to think of the dark hair with the nails that you like. You said we would never relate to, but now it's like the thing to be. Like so I'm I a, feel like that's what Wayne started that too. Then. Yeah. When all the tunes mm -hmm. started. Yeah. But, he was, but had but, the fucking but, double but, cup. But I don't think he painted the nails. On heroin. Same. That's a whole nah, nother. His nails painted. Wayne should paint it too. Think, Wayne yeah. nails painted. At least now, yeah. no, I believe. This nigga was, I rather really you paint your nails than to drink. Wayne, the most influential rapper of all time. But that's I'm also real. like Period. I'm pretending to be emo yeah. and I'm Wayne actually like cutting myself. Wayne, the most influential rapper of all time. And now, who taking over for Wayne right now? Young boy taking over. From what Wayne left off. Promise you. NBA young boy taking over from what Wayne left off. You can say blah all you want. I don't know. I ain't, it might not be your cup of tea, yeah. but that's the biggest artist. Them little niggas like him. Yeah, they in the world right now. Yeah, yeah because guess what? He talk about drugs, talk about killing, talk about seven hundred thousand dollars a month from YouTube alone. Mm. Shit, facts. I need to start rapping. Biggest artist in the world right now. NBA young boy. All Fuck right. it. Say so, it again. Fuck it. Give me the crack <laughs> too. Fuck it. Again? Just give me a, the, <laughs> give me a emo give me rap, man. Fuck it. Speaking of emo rap, give me a perk. Pass it. Pass it. We didn't do it. Give me a fucking perk. Give me a perk. 
fucking yeah. perfect. Next episode, I'm going to have yeah. to wake him up. He's going to be over there, bent over. Yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm about to change my whole So, message. what we talked about. <laughs> we cool with it, What did you say? See, this is how drugs get started. This is how people come crackheads right here. Nah, so, man. So, I mean, you act that we grew up on, give me some heroin, baby. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I talked to Miss Amina, and Mr. Amina said, that's a PSA. Can't you do it with a spoon, too? No, heroin going is vain. You got to like, you got to heat it up. No, you got to heat it up first. No, that's crack. You got to heat it first. No, that's 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 you heroin. Niggas don't like it's neither. That's why they drink really that time. shit now. Yeah. Drink heroin. <laughs> PCP, all that crazy. All, that. Yeah. Yeah. all of these new drugs oh, are just it's old just heroin, heroin. Yeah. in a different way. <laughs> all these new drugs are just old drugs nope. mixed up. I'ma just keep shit. drinking. I don't like it. I'ma just wine. Yeah. Crown Royal, my father. But we talked on a, on. Not sorry to be the serious person today, but we talked about the emo and people having to cope. So, like, this whole black people in therapy, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess, once again, it's a disconnect. Mm -hmm. Before, it was like, you don't need no therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with you. Go right. in the room and wash the dishes or something. Right. How do y'all, what, what's y'all take on it? Like, <laughs> I, I need to go to therapy. I'm going to put my hand up and say I, I need therapy. Think I think people need, need therapy. therapy. What, whatever you want to call it, whether you want to call it therapy, counseling, mm -hmm. advice, consult, you need somebody to vent off to it. You need somebody That's to open up to your darkest, deepest secrets or whatever you're struggling either. with. Yeah, because mm -hmm. sometimes people you're really close to can't relate on an intimate level. Or you feel insecure about opening up about certain things you've but been through. But they don't through. understand. Yeah, so you want to tell it to a stranger, somebody who don't have that like close connection with you, but you need that outlet to release because if not you can pretend like everything is okay and one day you're gonna blow the fuck up and do something real oh, crazy. Oh, start drinking lean? Yeah, I'll start drinking lean. <laughs> I'll try to keep numbing yourself every day exactly. on Percocets and that's, opium and everything else you could pop. That's a fact. I think and I, and honestly like since we started this podcast that's kind of uh, therapy oh, for me. Like that's I just cool. think you need non-judgmental conversation. Like mm -hmm. whether it's with a therapist or your partners or whoever we need to talk about shit more often. Mm -hmm. We need to talk about things that are bothering us with people who won't judge you so right. that you can feel open enough to actually discuss it. So I think the black community lacks that a lot because we just judgmental. We ready to... Right. Boy, shut up. Shut yeah. your stupid ass up. Yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I try to... You ain't saying. Right. right. I try to You keep think you're depressed. Going. Wait till I whip your ass. Yeah. Cause like, the first nah, thing we talked about me. the emotional niggas with the with the fingernails and shit, I'd rather call them a fag. But that's fucking that's hey, just, bro, we, just we, that's just that's just that But I'm I'm saying that's what my I didn't do it, but that's what my second nature was to do. Right, I can see that. But that's what I'm saying. This is a cultural thing, especially when it comes to our culture. Then it comes to men and women. Like our women, so hard they telling their daughters. Girl, shut up. Ain't nothing wrong with you go wash the dishes. If we got men around us, we for sure, man, suck yeah, that yeah, shit up. Right, right. Boy, you better shut up. Right, right, right. You better right. suck it up. Instead of I dealing with it. I wish you never to cry, never to be vulnerable, never to be right. no type of fucking sensitive, you know what I'm saying, no type of sensitivity. Right. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the but day. But it's a thin line, though. Like, I ain't just telling niggas to just be out here extra sensitive. Right. Exactly. But you, you still got to be able control. to man up and handle shit. Right. right. But I feel like also going back to the generation being so young, with the, the new rappers or whatever, it's because they, one, I don't feel like they have people to talk to like we're talking about. And it's just, like, being depressed is cool. Like, I'm going to yeah, do this. It's, yeah, yeah. I'm emotional and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rant and I'm going to go off on Facebook and say Attention I'm going to kill, I want to kill myself. Exactly. Yeah. So it's like, you are mad. You are not depressed. I'm not saying people don't get depressed, but there's a difference between being depressed and I'm just in the funk. Right. You know? mm -hmm. But we and gotta people be people just jump into depression because it's like a cool thing to do. But people gotta be careful of how they how they judge other people's feelings. Right. True. Right. I'm True. the same token. Let me tell you, I had a bad experience with, with therapy. With me coming from the military, I had a bad I had a terrible experience with with, with, with therapy. Mm -hmm. Basically I had the lady tell me I was too well off to be depressed. Mm. So I've she, never been back. So, yeah. That's the most depressed people though. And she got fired. Yeah, that would be my because, last Because, yeah, she's not supposed to. That would be my last Unless she has in judgment that's clear on the that's client. Me. Like, she was, like, running off my accolades and stuff. was like, there's no way I could be depressed. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But I was dealing with a PTSD situation. How she got her job? A Medicaid therapist? No, no, no. This was through the VA. <laughs> See, no the, this was through the This was oh, through the VA. This was through the VA. That's the Medicaid version? No, this was through the Veterans Affairs. This is through the Veterans Affairs Office. Lord. I but, think the best thing people could do is talk. And I don't mean to uh, Shekana and them. I mean to actual... Wait, who? It don't matter who it is. If they're going to listen. But no, because I'm saying sometimes 
your friends. See, I'll push you with the big boy. And I also think. I, I just said her name. I ain't mean, oh. A lot of people say therapy, but I think wow. that therapists have to have. <laughs> definitely oh, know she yeah. I think I your therapists have to be on, on the same, weed, like, <laughs> belief wave as you because right. that person is a sadist or if that person is an atheist and you One believe in God or you believe in this y'all not going to have the same yeah, outcome right, of right, when right, they right. you know the same resolutions so they're just saying go alright well I need you to burn some leaves but put man, it in a that circle might be... and run around that bitch and then pass out on the ground and right. you feel much better yeah. and you're going like what the but fuck but Megan what if that's the person that really enlightened you right. and what if because what if keep going back to what we've been going to that's insanity but no, I, mm-hmm. I I think everybody you run into, whether your belief chain is the same or not, you're going to have different opinions. And you're going to have different like, perspectives to whatever it is you're Definitely. going through. But what if you go to that person and you're looking for answers right now, and they in a moment, on. you down on your last, and they tell you, go talk to God. But that's, that's my dad. You on some shit like... Who? That's, that's but not a my thing is, you can't go to exactly. a person. I'm no, you, I'm, you can't go to a person for answers for anything. Yeah, you can't go to yeah, another human being for answers. You're only going to them to release to them. Yeah. You're only yeah. going to them to be heard, yeah. to be understood. You, you can't go to the person and say, though. "I'm gonna take all my me. problems and you gonna tell me what to do." Nigga, ain't gonna tell you what to do. Yeah. You have to sit in that personal space with yourself and with God or whoever you sit with and really come up with you your can next step. Yeah, you but, can get suggestions or advice, but that's still not like my answer is truly at the end. Right. It's, right. it's truly for them to absorb you. Right. You got to be in there willing to go right. give them all of what you got. Right. When you're in your for moment, be able to <laughs> when you're in your moment of vulnerability, <laughs> you want anything to be an answer or a sign. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm telling you, just from what I dealt with, just coming yeah. from Afghanistan, just yeah. just what I, I'm telling you, right. you want anything. Yeah. For relief. So whether it's words, yeah. whether it's actions, yeah. whether so it's like help do. talking to somebody. Help me, cause that therapist wasn't it. She was. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you what helped me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you what helped me. That therapist helped me. That therapist, she helped me to go find the answers I'm looking for for myself. Mm. Like I didn't go to nobody else. So I felt she, like she, all she therapists was be on it. The direction was to find myself in myself. That's really and truly what it was. Um, other than that, I, I, I probably I, I'll be real with y'all. I'm never ever gonna pay anybody for therapy ever. That's Only what, because I mean I feel you because you 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 went through that you went through that that and, was traumatic and yours, for me and but you got something from it I I try to advise everybody especially if they truly feel like they don't have nobody else right if right. they feel like they have somebody that's but it's still hard though because you still like coming with we come from that we ain't about to trust nobody right mm-hmm. we ain't about because you know we, 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 we believe if I tell you my vulnerabilities you're gonna use them against me yeah. right yeah. that's just how, that's what we believe Commanding. that's why we so confused it's, you know what I'm saying there's so many so called Christians that's what that's supposed to be for you I do like, I do that's appreciate what confessions the name of that shit is I like, appreciate the for. fact that at least I keep saying y'all's generation like y'all are sixty y'all close to <laughs> Um, I, I mean, appreciate that y'all that are not person. like our parents <laughs> that, that was like, girl, you all right. I'm going to give you something to be sad about. I'm right. glad that we're not recognizing that that's actually not healthy. And maybe when we But have that kids, is needed. What? What's needed? Like, you like you still got to, like, at the end of the day, as a culture, like black people, we still, we got, we <laughs> dealt an uneven hand. Right. So we got to know that oh, crying ain't the answer. Like, right. You got to be able to man it's up not, and go get it or else right. you're never going to have but it. Not, but the but thing is, it's one thing to say crying isn't the ultimate answer, but it's another thing to say don't cry at all. At all. Right. 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 Suck it up. Right. Suck it up, suck it up. You still suck it up so many times when it's actually the time to cry. You don't even know how to cry. Exactly. You don't even know how to express it. Just in there, like, you know, all right, I'm gonna suck, suck it up. up. I'm gonna suck right. up everything I'm feeling. Yeah. That might be true. So you don't even know what you're supposed to be expressing or not. Like that's something I deal with now, having to suck up so much as a kid. I don't know when to express or how to connect with my emotions in a certain way. People are like, well, oh, you don't feel nothing, or you so right. hardcore. And I'm like, Theory. I just but I look, haven't though. connected with that part of myself because right. I've been told not to cry so many times. Right. But sucking it up then helped you out though. It it has made me a certain person, but it also has a disadvantage that sometimes. That your soul. That's a disadvantage that sometimes, especially yeah, when, you, sure. when you're dating or for when sure. you're building friendships or when you like in, in, in business or anything. When yeah. you don't have that, yeah. when you can't connect with people on a certain like emotional level, that messes you up. To a certain so, degree, child, like it's getting hot. Yeah, it's turning air conditioning. Is it me or is it shot? <laughs> it's the shot. Oh, we need another shot. <laughs> nah. Yeah, Megan wants another shot. Oh, no, shot. I'm not taking another shot. Megan said, give me another you shot. Could, you could take a shot. But I feel like I'm at the end of the day, shot. people need to find what works. Like, you what found out what works for you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not never going to tell nobody not to go to therapy. Yeah. At least give it an And I'm never going to tell nobody, to, you better go to therapy. The only way is therapy. At least give it an You can meet a damn stranger in the 
supermarket who get help. And be I like, tell people constantly, what work for me may not work for you, yeah. and that's for yeah. everything in life. Yeah. 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 Try for car drive to yeah. what I eat at night. That don't yeah. might it yeah. don't, might not work for you. Right. Yeah. You gotta figure out what work for you. That's so it. stop turning to drugs, kids. Oh, don't be tripping when you die. One or the other. Don't trip when you they die. They can't trip when they die. I was about to say that. <laughs> I guess you're kind of right. <laughs> Niggas be tripping, though. They do. They do be Niggas tripping. Niggas be tripping. But though. didn't, back to Juice World, but didn't. Public prayer closet. See? Public <laughs> prayer closet. Pop- Crack uh, Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now what? All right. Say it again. No, <laughs> we're talking about the public prayer closet. <laughs> Did it. <laughs> but so J.R. Smith, Trina's ex-boyfriend. Trina's ex boyfriend. Trina's ex boyfriend. Yeah, they used to date. Man, you need an encyclopedia for Trina's Trina ex boyfriend. So wait, we didn't we didn't say Lil Wayne, Trina's ex boyfriend. Trina's ex boyfriend. The background on Smith. I don't really know the background on Smith. So this is the background. Young money. He must have cheated. Allegedly, he cheated, right? And I guess wifey found out. Wife. Well, they separated. It's still together. They still his wife. Allegedly. She found out, and I guess she decided to go live, and I think she was talking about it, and then it turned into a prayer. But sis recorded it, and people are kind of judging her for recording recording her prayer. Mm -hmm. I am. Black men don't cheat. Some things you got to, I feel like this that that gray line of everything has to be public. It feels more genuine, because sometimes things that that's not meant to be public for me or for somebody else is meant to hit somebody else. So that's still just because I was uncomfortable because I didn't like it, that may have reached another person or helped Maybe, somebody else, but, and just not me. But that, to me, when it feels like not, not genuine, it just feels a little like weird. Like Jesus going like, yeah, yeah. Let me help. Oh, Jesus on his Instagram, he like I got you, yeah. so you good. Like, yeah. like Jesus leaving yeah. hearts on the line. I'm very, like I said, yeah. I'm very yeah. secretive yeah. about my life, so I like would never be like, oh, my boyfriend was with she. But you, was. that's your personality, though. They have some people that put their whole life online. But They're very vulnerable. Yeah, so. so Good or bad. I think it's a balance of whatever you want because everybody is not meant to be that person to reach everybody mm-hmm. online, but there are some people that are designated to be that person. So you don't think you ain't supposed to keep nothing to yourself? No, I do, but I, I do, do think that I do think there are people who live a just very a transparent very open, yeah, yeah, life, yeah. and I cannot hate them people because I don't have that in me to do that. I don't. I'm just not that person, I but I cannot judge just, a person for it being that. What's also, beneficial? What's beneficial for that though? Like, because they can help somebody else by whatever they're going through. Somebody going through something similar, and when you relate to somebody else, you can be helped in and your I, situation. I guess they I'm not praying for through. your situation. But yeah, but a person see like, oh, her husband did this, or I look up to this lady, and her right, husband doing this, dangerous. or she doing it's that, you know, dangerous. I can... I just think it's dangerous to put, first of all, I'm, like first you said, it's personal. Sorry. Okay, and that wasn't his old First of all, my black nigga just cheated this year. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to put that out there. That, was that boy was he red. He was black. That boy was he red. cheated. He was, he was, he was from your... He was red. He was red, y'all. <laughs> no, but he was it's red. dangerous. <laughs> my skin color. He was red. Was he was red to me. He was a Jew. He was red, y'all. He was red. He was red. He was red. I, I think he was red, too. He was but red that's still looking. black. He was still a black anyway, nigga that cheated. Allegedly. The he point is... I don't know that. Caught the nigga we with don't his dick. First of all, he's... <laughs> this is about to turn into more. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Whatever. <laughs> Megan's <laughs> ex-girlfriend, I apologize. <laughs> He ain't on Megan Live. I know he ain't on Megan Live. I know he ain't on Megan Live right so now. I won't take so, a man well, in my life. So but Megan ain't get on Instagram and was like, my nigga is a cheater. I didn't. I wouldn't make a bag on that bitch ass nigga. Okay. Right, nothing wrong with that. But I think it's dangerous I'll book because you for my event, oh. when people do stuff on the internet, those, those likes and those comments, I feel yeah. like that doesn't allow you to think for yourself. Nope. Right. So you thinking for the ground. For her, she not even focused on the marriage. She focused on defending herself. Well, the marriage is, they're, they're not together. Apparently, they separated. Right, so we can't leave that part of, out of it. That's a huge that's part. That is the major that's part. Major. So now y'all if we are separated, yes. Yes. I I something else. That's why J.R. said, oh. that's why J.R. Smith said, well, why she didn't tell him in her prayer that we ain't been together in months. Period. Because a lot of men use that as no, an excuse. People leave once they out. We was on people, break. We was people break. leave out major we points. Break. That's why I got all pregnant. If we, if we separated, we separated. What does separated mean? If we are separated, separated. mean we still married, but we not not separate. living. Separate. I'm here. Work out. We gonna do we on pause. separate. <laughs> yes. so if we separate, no more me and you. But niggas like to say that as a hard pass. 
No, no, no separation is a old. pass me to pass your no. ass up. It's but a lot of thing. people, a lot of people, I would say over fifty percent of people will separate, get back together. Sometimes that's a large after number. The, after, yes. After they, so they when you're separating, it's like yeah, let me go wild out yeah. right quick, get some new pussy, get some new whatever. Oh, definitely. So you don't think she going wild out with some new meat? No, not always. But it's a chance. Yeah. It took me three months before I was like, you know what? She got the chance to go do it. Too fuck you, nigga. I can't get mad about it. She got it. Took me three she months. Had a nigga After I broke up the nigga, they be like, eh, "Why is somebody gotta get hit? Why if somebody directed me? I promise you, I'ma be on the ground praying. I'ma be all that. I'ma be all that new home. I'ma be all that new home on the stairs praying. I'ma be praying everywhere. If that's somebody that happened to me, I'ma be praying everywhere. I'ma gotta pray first. I'ma go pray first because I probably cut up before her. But I'ma go pray first because I gotta beat you to the prayer. You gotta pray, but she should have been in her closet. And I'ma cry a little I too. I'ma cry a little. And man, I keep sweat playing in the background. I don't know. While I pray. No. I don't know where My old nigga, she should have cried online. <laughs> I'm about to smash. He should have cried online. They probably could have kept me. She better get her. Yeah, I'ma think she smashed. She in my head, the whole my head. Oh, yeah. no. I don't agree with you. In my head, I'ma think she will smash some before I even went smash some. I'm not gonna judge her, but I don't. First and foremost, damn, they don't even need to get back together. Right. It's too much smashing going on. Black men don't cheat. Secondly, I'm damn sure not cheating if we separated. It's not cheating. Right. That's not cheating. Like people were I mean, saying, like, a book. like a people were saying lawyer. that Tristan Thompson cheated on Khloe Kardashian. How? Because they were together. She's she married. Like, she's not married. She's to Lamar Odom. No, she yes, not. she is. That man is married. Look it up. He got a new wife. Look it up. Now. I already did. He got a new wife. Now. Look it up. He just got married. But back in the G, when her and Tristan was. Tristan was still legal. No, they were still she married. She was not. They were big old married. And she was not. Tristan was her side piece. She was not married. She was not. They be having over relationships. They get. That lady got money, money. They got divorce, divorce. Not no separation. How do y'all feel didn't? about people saying that the Kardashians are like doing like this gene pool to have all these? Yes, babies? it's very yeah. weird. I like it. It's a very like I it? don't yeah, mix it up. They all look like you. They all gonna look like you. Lies. They gonna be light skin and shit. Watch, you gonna mm-hmm. see. Nope. They gonna be fine because all the Kardashians fine. They, all they are plastic, nigga. Nah, nah, this is my thing. Yeah. This, is, nah, this is my thing. Are you gonna look like your nigga. plastic surgery mama? Are you gonna look like your mama? No, her jeans, her jeans ain't got silicone in it. I know. Her jeans ain't about to give you them titties. Her jeans ain't gonna give them hips, them butts, them lips. I be thinking about that. Nothing. Her jeans gonna give you that's on her body. You think they all fake? Everything. Yes, nigga. We saw that before. Kendall might. Be the Except Kendall, that's natural. it. That's probably it. Kendall, in, in the court. most natural, but she got a little lip done. Man, what's the one with the um? What's the one who married to the white boy who always be high? Courtney. Courtney. She not, he not married. That boy guy haven't been married to that man in years. Well, I don't keep I, up with the Kardashians. Scott she Dick. Looks, she <laughs> like, like, yeah, we should keep up with right. the Kardashians. Like Scott. But Courtney. I think no, because this is the thing. She I ain't think that fake. Right? I think she cool. I who think fake. Who not fake? Courtney. She buku fake too. Oh no, Courtney really not. But her lining on top of. Eyebrows. See? See? I think that's they're gonna flaw, right? they're gonna let North it's become not really a flaw. North. When you turn eleven, we're gonna let you get Botox. Like Do y'all Kylie. know when Kylie was fifteen is when she started getting all her surgery? I believe that. When she was fifteen years old, when she got the breast, the lips. I mean, the you seen when you seen her when she was fourteen? All right. So you so have not even hit your full puberty yet. Yeah. Yeah. You seen her when she was fourteen? So listen. She didn't have a lip. You seen her when she was fourteen? She like a snowman. So listen, no. Are we cool with getting surgery at fourteen? If you no, because you're not by seven. I don't think. You get Let surgery you. before Let you really can go. fully develop your body, but the my thing nigga. is, you get surgery to be more attractive. You don't it need to be attracted to nobody at 14, because that's why the people get kidnapped, not because they, well, that's not why. They want the young ones. But I'm saying, like, why? What you trying to expose? Mm-hmm. Like, why yes, you want people? Because girls are trying to make money they off them. So I understand that. And on top of that, they in the public eye. Constantly. They're in the public eye. Constantly. Yeah, so everybody telling her, yo, you let's do this. Cool every so to me, yeah. a lot of that stuff to me is they mental. Big old mental. Like a lot of that is mental because them girls are being told what to look like, how to act every day, all day. I ain't gonna lie, that's a fire come up. The, the, the people that be talking about her lips the most are the same people that was talking about her thin ass lips before saying, girl, what your lips say? Ew, bitch, get it together. Then she got lips injected. Oh my God, you want to be black? Like, what you door like Bitch, no. Instagram. She might not want to be black, I but see, she wants some black in her. Yeah, I see somebody who struggles a lot she with like insecurities. Like and I feel, I feel with sorry new, for the new lips. With the new lips. With the new lips. I cannot stand any of them. With the new lips. Yeah. 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 With them old shit. lips. A bad one. But what about? But the new lips are gonna work. But do y'all think there's a connection to like young girls looking older and 
besides people like but that's the Oh my god. Wanting the younger girls. Teenagers look like grown women. Because their mamas were eating churches when they were like, pregnant. Thank you. It's no, case. even if the, from the makeup to the lace wigs, like they be in middle school with lace wigs. That's the problem. Eyelashes. Contour faces, that's lace the problem. eyelashes. I, what's that's the problem. problem. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something. They had my fine mama girls tried to bust my school. nails off when I was 16 and my nails were short and she was just like, uh, I didn't tell you could get nails yet. I said, Ma, you nails. said when I made 16, I could get you nails. My mama tried to pluck all my nails off my hand. But your mama are real. It's though. something different, though, in the water, though. Like, I don't it's think it's nothing different it's in the water, different. though. Well, it's in bone water yeah. advisories constantly. It is, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's something in the water. Something in the water. So, <laughs> if they not boiling that water, they they drinking it and turn to the clumps. You remember, you know, it's like reverse. No, it ain't nothing something in the water, though. The girls just they getting kilos in their Stupid. The mama's stupid. Because the mama's having them younger now. The we get younger and younger mama. Your like, mama 19, you 15. Like I, Young like mama's I been around. Basketball games, these high school basketball games, dog, and the little girls coming there with 26 inches. Like, strip a weave. Mm-hmm. And I'm like... And Garrett, but like, what I'm well, like, but also like on, the, on, the, on, the flip cool. side, on the flip side, the kids that's playing ball... These niggas ain't the same size when we was the nope. same. Nope. They big too. Now that, they big, big too. They got the neck tattoos. <laughs> oh, that's the ball water advisory. They got neck tattoos. water advisory. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> they do have tattoos. They got yeah. children going from, yeah. got children yeah. from the yeah. east to come. I it's love the we have niggas like that. Yeah. I honestly, yeah. but we had a little maybe arm, little tail, little stamp. I a little stamp. I we didn't have no <laughs> thug life killing bitches every day of the week. <laughs> Perkins says pop. No, we was in high school. Like, if a nigga got a tattoo, they rolled, they had their sleeve up all day. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, well, Vaseline. Yeah. Well, Google Vaseline. Tweaking. It was a gangster. We know somebody come ask him something. Your mama let you get a tattoo. Your mama. Yeah, my mama let me get one. Yeah, my mama bought me one. Yeah. I still don't got a tattoo. I'm still about to ask my mama for one. You don't got no tattoo? No. Oh, me neither. I ask my mama oh, for one. High five. Fresh skin. Fresh skin. No, so do y'all see a connection between that and yeah. then this rise of sex trafficking? I'm not blaming it on that. I'm, it's, a rise, it. it's a rise in weirdos. That's out here trying to... I think to, social media has really opened, opened up. up a can of whoop ass on the weirdest yeah. fucking shit and people were you can real be weird as you fetishes want. and all this like easy accessibility like to everything and everybody as gay people like this very creepy ass right you could yeah. be that but like, like this shit been going on. Oh, oh yeah I like this shit been going on yeah, like, it's, since it's, eternity it's been going on but you it's easy to access now cause before you only had so. mag- everybody no, had cameras you had though. magazines you know what I'm saying you had magazines you had this you had to put in cassette tapes and VCRs and shit like that now you just click open your phone Twitter open porn, your phone porn, crazy. Crazy. open your phone ask whatever you want to see you can open your phone and literally get to it I hate opening Twitter and it's a and that's why creepy ass make it create I'm not websites kidding. for little girls, for little boys, for whoever you want. You That's can create true. that but, avenue. But, but prostitution online. is like the oldest profession. But not well, yeah. So, like, but prostitution, first of all, yeah. was entrepreneurship. I think so, it wasn't what it is. First of all, that's I think the first so. hustle. If I want to be an entrepreneur, let me be an entrepreneur. Oh, but you're not going to force and take my money and pimp me out. Well, like off I mean, my cat. Well, it can't. Well, <laughs> pimps came My cat, my money. So that just means you wouldn't have a pimp. A period. But some women. <laughs> in Amsterdam, they don't have no pimps. That's a business. They got W9s out there. But they got yeah. pimps. 1099. What, in Las Vegas? No, in Amsterdam. Oh. Well, in Amsterdam, is also. I was thinking business. about yeah. their yeah. businesses. Those women get all of their own. Because I, when I went there, I was like, I ain't about to be supporting this trafficking, sla- slaving these women for sex. And it was just like, oh, no, baby, this is my business. Like, right. I make nice money out of this. I'm like, well, they getting W9s on Facebook. Right. On Instagram. I mean, they getting W9s <laughs> on, uh, on Twitter, too, but they only fans account. That's they get, they getting W9s and all that. Who? And I'm just, who? The OnlyFans girls? Hustle, man. No. But my you thing is with that, it's no, that's dumb as fuck because... Yeah, you seen they check stuff? They have screen record now. Yeah. So if you are that's on like a web... like a bootleg movie. My nigga, I can screen record you easy that's and fine. sell it. That's fine. Like, that's easy. Fine. So now I didn't pay but now, $19 but and but I didn't pay. But make it look. But now I'm famous, though. Because you've But it's so many, it's so many, it's so many creeps out there. Famous and broke. Everybody want me famous. Famous and broke. Nah, let me tell you Famous what's going on. Good. I don't care how many followers you got. See, you this, got the thing. Many? this is what's going on, right? What? It's dudes that them? think that they have some type of special connection with the young lady when they throw her some bread. That's true. 
So like they doing it. They so yeah. They like. Little they little like. Well, baby, right? I'm about to see you. I'm about to support you. What you doing? I'm coming get your videos. They looking at that as like supporting. You know what I'm the saying? Sponsor. Right. That so, is like. And I, so of course, why they could screen record and and give it out to whoever. They looking at it like that's my girl. I ain't about to play on her. Like you know what I'm saying? Like they is ducks out here. But that's sure. but, but yeah. well, I guess I'm, they making bread. I, I just feel like how many niggas be getting set up by. I these. would always be understood. Oh, how yeah. much did Mona you get Lisa. for me, Daddy? I don't no, want stand for Miss Ducks because <laughs> I know for myself there was a time when I felt that way. Yeah. What? Like when I first started going to the strip club, mind you, I was way too young to be in a strip club. But I definitely felt like if I pay some money, like if I actually spend I money in it, in that's me for the night. Something is supposed to come back. Yeah. Once I realized that that ain't how it worked, I became the nigga in the strip club who barely tipping. Right. Because I do feel like there's supposed to be some return on my investment. Hmm. Yeah, that's why everybody trying to fuck strippers. And yeah. which, there, which there's strippers. absolutely nothing wrong with. But that, well, I'm saying now it's not even stripping no more. You're not even taking off your clothes no more. You got to suck a dick to make mirror money. I mean, I mean, that's extra. It's prostitution. I'm, but I'm perfectly fine with pimping and sex, prostitution. No, money I do have a problem with Which is prostitution? I, mean, I don't like to trafficking. Tomato. Yeah, please. Because <laughs> trafficking is for somebody to do something they didn't sign that's up the for. Problem. That's the problem. You know what I'm problem. saying? That's my problem. I have a problem with you doing it. Making like drugging somebody them and stuff. But I'm definitely not for nobody being will. forced against their will to do nothing. But if she wanted to suck a dick, I'm cool with her getting $5 for it. It depends on sometimes, because you have sometimes a 13, 14, 15 year old who just, I, I think if you take away a person's hope, they will do any fucking thing. Yeah. So a person without hope, if I look at you and I see you with no hope and I know there's nothing you want to do, I'm still going to take advantage of that weak ass situation you in. A lot of niggas yeah, I mean, and a lot can't, of people. You can't hold nobody take against their will. So pimping ain't for you. Sexual, sexual. So basically, that's what you're saying. You ain't cut out the. Business. I feel like I would get slapped a lot if I was. I used to want to be a pimp, but I would get slapped a lot because I would take. Yeah. Yeah, like Jack. if I did something that was three hundred dollars, I would be like, oh, he only gave me two hundred in their pocket, the one hundred. Yeah. Yeah, you definitely getting Yeah, you getting slapped. Yeah, you getting bad. Yeah, you getting I can't bad. Nobody bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be like, nigga, where you was at when they was banging my head into the wall? <laughs> you ain't hitting no butt. You ain't doing no work. Fuck all that, bitch. About to get banged. I got my head fucking head banged. I get the money. Yeah. That's the, and that's the problem. I can never have a pimp. <laughs> that's really the problem with it. Now, see, they think they too, like, see, that's, that's. Once you try to trick That's also man. because I'm a business so woman. I got, I got the question of where's the line between pimping, prostitution, and tricking? What's the difference? So, uh, 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 uh. tricking is the person that's the pulling up on stuff and down. As a trick cat, huh? As a trick cat, <laughs> as a trick cat, I would like to say that um, tricking ain't tricking if you got it. Yes, it is. And, <laughs> and I think it's a super lot tricking if you really got it. <laughs> it's still tricking. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, studio <laughs> audience. Not a lot of niggas. Tricking like, is tricking. I don't care how much you got. When you have a lot of money, you have a certain disposable income that you give to whatever you're going to give to. Right. Your disposable income is for you to dispose of. And you I will politely you say, want. I'm yeah. tricking on this car. Sometimes niggas sure. like to give it to bitches. <laughs> yeah, that's the trick. But you have your car money. You I'm have tricking. your house money. That's you have your bill that's money. That's yeah, tricking. It's still a trick. You that's have your disposable with, with the, with, income. With that disposable income, that's tricking. it's called the little fun you got. From where I'm That's trick money. Yeah. That's trick money. I, that's I'm from a time called. where writing somebody in jail was Joseph and buying whatever you wanted with your own free money was tricking. Period. Period. So, are you a prostitute since you get tricked on? Oh. Wait, is that what you said? <laughs> no, she is a trick on, It depends on what you <laughs> Oh, you giving the money out. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> You're, oh, a so you're the prostitute. You're Girl. A trick- no, 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 the trickette. She's the tricker. What's the trickette? I don't really do either. I just think it sounds fun, but. <laughs> <laughs> let, me clear, let me clear this shit up. I don't really do I it, but it, it sounds like a good time. <laughs> just kidding. Well, but, yo, just kidding. No, for real, in college. You got tricked on. A lot. All right, and it wasn't because I wasn't having <laughs> sex then. Oh. I wasn't. Oh, yeah, I, feel like, right, 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 right. I, I wasn't yeah, having sex then. Yeah. That's so booty. niggas were just, oh, I like you. You know, I want to pay yeah. this. I want to do that. I'm like, okay, fuck. I ain't about to you turn it down. Hey, numbers. No. Those guys are weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> also Wait, so you <laughs> said something stuff. earlier. I always got to bring you back because you, uh, uh, mm. you said something about tipping the strippers. Yeah. Yes. We need a tipping calendar. What how much mean? should you tip a stripper? How much should you tip your barber? How it depends on how she wild and your bar. I mean, Does a stripper bring me food? What you mean? Sometimes. She delivering your wings? Yeah, everything is based on know. service. Yeah. It's about your It really gra- depends it's, it's, on how drunk I am that night. Service. Yeah, me too. I was about to say that. How much did I drink? As far as the, like, how many, how many? How good yeah, is it? Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to lie. So what about, like, 
like regular services. It's not stripping, like a haircut. It depends on the haircut price. My barber, the money go, all the money that he cut go to him. Yeah. So every last dollar that he charged goes to him. Exactly. See, mine is depends because uh, strippers, strippers have got lazy. Oh, we back to strippers. <laughs> They got lazy. You're talking about strippers. So a lot of strippers, <laughs> they just be doing that little one, two, like five, well, five, nine. Work in the I, like the one, no I like the strippers yeah. that climb up the dance. pole, hit almost to the ground, the stop. Like they're going to hit their face, but they don't time. hit their face. Then they climb back up. They spin around. They're like, damn, That's what I'm trying to that say. will it's get all, my junk ass it's all based on to start doing all the money I got in my purse. It's all based but on But if you just on the pole, like, and I mean, I'd give everybody $5. I don't care what you did. <laughs> Every, my you sound like girl, my daddy. I my hate him. Girl get five dollars. <laughs> A wax girl I get hate five dollars. Hey, <laughs> black people do believe everything is my five dollars. My daddy is like that. <laughs> that's a decent my Uber driver. <laughs> Wait, do y'all tip your Uber drivers when you get that's dropped off? That's depending on no. where you are. I don't. The money go, all the money go to them. It, all the money don't but go I to them. Now, if we was in traffic and a nigga went a secret way and got me somewhere fast, I might throw him a little dollar. Back to that, though. Like, I do, I, 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 there is, I do kind of agree with that. Like, Everybody get five dollars? Yeah, no. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's cool. Like, no. If I'm a tip, it's probably going to be five dollars. But if everything, if the whole service go to you, like restaurants get tipped because y'all only because they don't $2. make enough money, right? Yeah. And the and the restaurant getting the mm-hmm. majority of my bill. If it has to be all the, the money go to you, then I don't even know why I'm tipping you. Right, right. I paid you. Right. You know, but the money I paid you what you told me. It's going to them. It's going to the business. The, They're all the business. Everywhere got what tip jobs. If you got so you think us as comedians we should get tipped by our shows? I would like it. I, 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 give, I do get tipped at my shows a lot, would. though. Don't yeah, get me wrong. Yeah, that's why I'm like, why not? But it's not a thing. It's not something we go looking for. Because a lot of comedians, you're not getting paid really what you're giving out a lot so of times. So that's what I'm too. saying. If a chick Shit, charge, man, I my charge, kids need to tip me. I charge $150 to do braids. You yeah. come to me, you get braided out. Boom, I gave you my price. I gave you one fifty. 150 coming to me. I'm giving you 155 You giving me 155 Yep. You had extra like five this around? I'll bring it back if I'm not working my head. Like got five dollars. And mine <laughs> depends on the work you put in. And <laughs> if, you, if your price is high already, and I feel like you included your gratuity, right. I feel Which more like most that's do. like, all right, bitch, you tried me. Yeah, you right. already take your money and get the fuck. My hair cut already. But I feel like you really sure. gave me a reasonable Everything, price. If I like, got that discount, yeah, I'm not even a discount. But a reasonable not price. Worthy. Yeah, and right. you work Every hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about? I'm gonna give you what you want. Let's go. To and when the I pick up food, I don't tip. Like right. if I like have take to out, take my I'm gas, not tipping for takeout. Pick up this oh, food either. and take my gas to bring it back home, bitch. Here's the money. X out on tip. Sign. All right. Only yeah. certain times somebody everything like extra not, tippy, yeah. and I'm in a good mood. I'll be like, so, so like, everything. Not not one of my partners told me today that him and his little boy got a cut. Now the little boy, his little boy is eight. Mm-hmm. Fifty dollars for him and his eight-year-old son. That's, how, that's, 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 that's the regular price at my barber. Yeah, I ain't tipping that. I'm not tipping. I can't. I can't add on to that. You got the fifty. You my good. haircut already. So you my feel like already you already 30. was overcharged. So not overcharged. I'm paying not him. Overcharged. I'm paying him what I think. He, I think that's his overcharged. price. A little I'm about overcharged. Yeah. Who? Me. I think you. I don't think a grown man is overcharged. I think a lot of hairdressers overcharged too. It's just, but y'all got to think. It depends on how big your. They be charging like three hundred dollars for braids now. I. Yo, so I got a big stoop. I grew up on on braids. You got a grown head. How much you think? You got a child body with a grown head. It's a thirty dollar head. It's a thirty dollar head. I don't like paying over two hundred. So they have be they braids be like three hundred, four hundred dollars. Always pay over two hundred. You pay over two hundred dollars to get your braids. When I was growing up, see that's why I can't trick on. That's why I can't trick on women right there. I never so be able to afford rate. tricking. Mm-hmm. I don't care how much high rich I get. Well, I, pro- I do no, I do I promo. So, so my really promo you price. Do something so really, you, you got a discount. <laughs> how long the last? Really, you got a discount. <laughs> These promo braids. Yeah, because people gotta respect your page and gotta That's respect why. your hustle. I gotta get popping. Like, cause I do a lot of stuff for free. <laughs> no, they cause that's just my heart. Wait, but bitch, I can't do everything for free. I got bills. I do got bills. Me and Mark talking about lashes. I told him I paid like. $150 for my lashes. I also do lashes and promo. Said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they stay on for Anybody days. need promo, any beauty. Wait, uh, but this is what I don't like, though. I need to know how the, long lashes stay on. The local businesses on Instagram and I've had these rude left on my messages pillows, and for their customers that. like, don't text me. Don't do this. Yeah, like, why are you talking so to your crazy. customers like this? Mm-hmm. Y'all really... The game. They go through a lot. Niggas, you don't never get a barber hopping online saying, I'm, I'm so "Man, sad. y'all need to wash y'all hair lashes. before y'all come." Like it's like you don't never get no barber cutting up to, like that. Like, come to you, like let's, like don't talk to people crazy, okay? I'm still I think about who that is trying to see me, Megan. 
I'm trying to show everybody. Megan's on her live, everybody. My lashes. Say hey to the live. Well, what's up, Megan Live? Say well, hey to the live, Jazz. Hi, y'all better stop being rude. Local businesses, I think we need a uh, customer Whoa. service, service class. class. I feel like everybody who work in, a, in customer service should go to Chick Fil A for two weeks. For right. what? Go to Chick Fil A training for two weeks. Yeah. Oh, because Chick Fil A is the best place on earth to understand how to treat people. Oh, let me tell oh, you about Chick Fil A story. Chick -fil -A okay. So I got to the window and they told me to pull over. They told me to pull around. I never heard that at Chick Fil A. So I swear to God, it I bet was, they bought you a little cake out one, of some uh, ice cream cone. The one in So when they told me, I was just like, my heart broke you into a couple of pieces, and I was just like, I was driving to the little box, but like, no. So when I got to the parking spot, I was just sitting there like, what do I do now? Like, how could Chick-fil-A do this to me? Like, my right. whole life was in shambles, y'all. Like, I really was second-guessing everything that had ever been told to me in life. The dude walking to my window, y'all, he acted like he was a slave out the plantation. He was like, I, I am so sorry. I, can, <laughs> I cannot believe I this that. happens to you. I like, to this will never happen. He was like, I put extra sauce in the bag. I put extra chicken in the bag. I put extra fries in the bag. I was like, yeah, and what else? I always had to pull over because yeah, I get what the, else? the you, chicken you burrito have to pull no chicken. The, the chicken burrito? I've never had to pull over at chicken burrito. I have yeah. never. That's my motherfucking lie, too. Yeah. I'm not. Chicken burrito. Oh, you got a burrito from Chick-fil-A? Breakfast? In the morning, y'all don't get the breakfast burrito? No. Oh, my God. Give me them little chicken well, minute biscuits and I'm out. What the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> y'all check it. Get y'all a chicken God burrito. Goddamn guato. But I gotta say, Fuck I do chicken that burrito, that but without the chicken, I'm please. No chicken. With no chicken on top of that. And no meat, no hard <laughs> meat. I don't eat hard meat no more. Sure. Oh, you don't eat hard meat anymore. Tell us about pork, it. pork, chicken. What's the other? Hard Sausage. meat. Dicks. Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. She I'm a virgin by mouth. We're from stripper dicks. <laughs> by mouth? What time? I'm is a virgin it? by ear. <laughs> this is not the after hours. Well, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so where we at? Where we at all time? Where we at? Uncut. Where we at? I'm just saying, I don't eat meat, so I got to Wait, we got to get my topics. That was, oh, that was the time. Yeah, we was on tipment. All right. And customer yeah, service. Best so 20%. Yeah. Everybody's getting $5. 20%. Except my waitresses. I do 20, 22. I do, yeah. I got time to do all that. Depends on what kind of Five dollars is not no tip. If your bill is eighty dollars, you gonna get five dollars. No, but no, I don't no, go places. No, they can get seven. You don't go places that your bill eighty dollars. <laughs> what about fifty dollars? I don't pay. Woman and table. Girl, get the fuck. It depends on who there. <laughs> How many people there? Really? If I'm by myself. It don't depend on how many people. Yes, it do. How hard is your waitress? 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 Eight meals and talk about we gonna split it all halfway. No, 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 yeah. I ain't tripping about that. But I know other people are supposed to be tipping. Right. So at the end of the day, my tip gonna go. It's gonna add, it's gonna add up. Gonna, you gonna yeah, you about to get, get a nice tip. I can get a smooth seven comfortably. Yeah. yeah. Seven. We went to a restaurant with a group like, restaurant. Yeah. This girl was fussy because she talking about she had ordered for two a time. Yeah. See. She didn't want to pay for it. But that's when you don't go. That's when you don't keep them people in your circle. Like everybody ain't supposed to be. I have a free. I'm not gonna lie. I be feeling disrespectful. People don't tip. Like if I'm with you and I'm out. Oh yeah. That's so bad. I say something. That's so bad. Yeah. I tell people about the I might throw extra few. On the table, if I know this, yeah, I don't like I'm it. gonna do it in your face. If you a person that's gonna tell me, I'm not gonna lie, I'm oh, going to shine on you, yeah. <laughs> broke ass, you can get a couple more money. Fuck. I looked out for your homie, yeah. Don't worry about it. I got your money. This, 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 right <laughs> this, this all on me, right here. This all on me. My line sister doesn't go out to eat groups because of that. She was a weak so she like, I, nah, I'm only going, people. but my but but like Pooh said, and when I do get pool service, I write a whole note on the back of my receipt. I've never done All right, oh, baby, I write. I go when I'm by myself. Oh, I really, I group, really didn't appreciate how you walked yeah, to the table and whatever it is I'm feeling. See, if, if I, I was in a group, a and we ate though. deep in the group, all right? We ate deep in the group. My $5 should suffice. Because it's and coming out the bill already. If we all go with the five, that's a $40 tip. See, it ain't like you by the bill. But if it's still, we ain't about to be out. It's still got to be 20% of that bill. $7. Well, I don't know if it got to be 20%. Yeah, it's supposed and, to be. And, and like I got to think for service. I also got to think for whole numbers. But eight. So I will also, if I'm going to make it an even number also. You're going to round up. See, I got a question. I got something for y'all, though. Y'all ever had, like, a female uh, waitress, right, who was, like, y'all, y'all, y'all girl. No, 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 no. Y'all girl felt like she was giving you better service than she was giving her. Wait, and when the, when the bill done. come and she looking to see what you tipped her. 
to oh, be yeah. like, oh, you better not go. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you knew like, she was a shitty woman. Yeah, so, so you really about you to know just. she was shitty. I've also tipped my phone. Then she'll be like, ah, uh, she'll be like, she'll be like, ah, uh, scratch that out. I'm going to tip it. I'm going to tip it. I'm going to leave it on. I, I got cash. I got cash. I've also tipped 504. I'm like, like you serious? Zero, six. <laughs> that $4 birthday. I'm like, you, I'm like, you serious? Service. Like, you going to really need the cash on the table? She came to the table. I think it's also unattractive. I've been telling the girl about herself. Don't, I don't got to wait to the tip. I'm like, what is y'all in his face for? See oh, what yeah. I'm saying? She, she, yeah, I, Stuff like that. Shit, it's like. unattractive when I'm on a. Nigga, well, when I used hands. to go on dates. We go take a piss, man. Not tip enough. So you don't go on like, dates no more? How you know how much he tip? Cause I look, I look too. That's why I go under the table. I take a picture with my eyes. Nigga can't win for losing. I write it under the table. That's the thing. They I write it they, under the they, table. They, they, they or sometimes, like I said, though. I will add to your tip. If I don't feel like you gave enough, mm. I'm going to add to it. They bird washing everything, though. And that, bird that might make you feel some type of way, but Ooh. next time you'll get oh, more. Yeah. I feel bird like, watch, like, I feel like everything. Pigeons? But that's only <laughs> yeah. if you do, like, something you got a third out of tip and you give, like, a dollar, two dollars. I feel like, I feel like I'm like, come on, bro. I'm just glad I'm not the only one who doesn't tip for takeout. Thanks for fixing my food. I, I, like I every do sometimes. Take if my takeout, who the tip go to? Who the takeout tip go to? I got a minute for the no girl to y'all. They go to everybody. That's right. right. That should go to the chef, huh? I feel like it's supposed to come from the grill to the ear. Y'all should need a tip. I I do that sometimes. I'll tip five dollars. Boy, <laughs> I said I feel like every time y'all a nigga take y'all out, y'all should lead a tip. Oh no, that's a whole nother story. But we gonna stop it right here because look, we could go. At least get we need tip. to have Why like a bag. We ain't got seven dollars. The no. man that took. Oh, the man that no. took. First of all, why you taking me to where you think the tip gonna be seven dollars? See, that's what I'm saying. saying. I know you. if it's Copeland. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. So the nigga that the took you up the whole crib. No, you but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, y'all not on the first date. I thought the first date. No, not on the first date. Once we're dating, it's whatever. I would first date to one of my shows. Yeah, once we're dating, it's whatever. Oh, that's cute. Every but time. not the first date. No, once, when you're courting me, that's different. I'm courting you on stage. But once we together, it's like. Nigga, we gotta fucking we on this journey together. Fuck, let's get out your lives. No, I ain't talking right. about once but we combine incomes and balancing bills and shit. Not I'm even that. About a nigga that took you out. No, not the first time. I'm like, easy to first the second time, time. First time nigga pulled the roll out the red car. Now you judging cool the tip. With that. First time? First time. No, that's the point. <laughs> I'll roll the red carpet out That the was first time. <laughs> We got to talk about that later. We got 30 <laughs> seconds on live. Say bye. Would anybody everyone. kick you off? Yeah. Time. Make right. sure you are tipping the people seconds. if they give you good service. $5 is the minimum. $7 you bought and out of control. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah. Tip y'all people. Tip y'all people, yeah. everybody. $5 ain't the best. I, 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 I do one thing. I tip, better at, I tip better at black establishments, though. I if it's black it. owned, I tip better. That's true. But I might not racist? tip a white girl. Very racist. It all depends on the service, bro. Straight up. If it's a black restaurant, black owned, like when I'm at Morrow's, I'm tipping. Yeah. Like I sneeze. I, go I bless tip me. everywhere, but yeah. black that black girl gonna get a better tip. Thank you. All right. Power to the people. If you poo, if you poo, you might get two dollars. Fuck it. If you poo, you might I'm not just, get nothing. And I'm not a poofy. Oh, no, not poo like I that. Not pooing looks. You oh. might be poo, Jack. Pooing service. I'm not poo. They deleted my thing. I'm and now it's the I know Megan be drunk. All right. So, Give her another shot. It's, it's us nothing. here at In Opinions. Before we get too wasted, like the kids say. Um, Before we get, we get too what? I know. Wasted. Let me start over. I was trying to be cool. <laughs> I said swasted. Swasted. That's what the kids say, right? They no. say swasted? You got to come in with the energy. I'm, I'm trying. But I don't have to do I'm not doing the intro. Right. Oh. Hold up. I don't know. I'm just saying. Well, I'm introducing y'all. Yes. Energy. All right, y'all. Another episode oh, here. Here. Yeah. All right. And so is Megan. So, considering we have some really special guests in the house tonight. Considering. And, and a yo in the studio. Um, <laughs> yo. I want them. I already introduced y'all, but I'm going to let them do a little pluggy plug. We got some playwriters up here. Mm. Both of them comedians. Talk about some it. hosts. Yeah. Yeah. We coming up. <laughs> like, the celebrities Not is in the house. Thing. You did. So what you got going on, Big Star? <laughs> All right, so uh, comedian Mark Caesar um, from New Orleans, yeah. uh, by way of Uptown. For Red yeah. Street, um, Valentine Magnolia. Y'all know, y'all know, y'all know the spots. Yeah. But look, um, got a lot going on, man. Just thank you for everybody that's been following everything that I've been doing over these last uh, few years. About to hit my 18 year anniversary in comedy. 
Um, mm. New Year's Eve gonna be my Vet. 18th anniversary. Sure. Um, so I'm, I got like a comedy grown up child. So um, <laughs> got that going on. Also kicking off my um, my podcast, um, the Shut Up Caesar podcast. Yeah. So definitely be on the lookout for that, man. And just a lot of things, man. Just keep keeping up with me, like y'all been doing. Um, started a few business ventures. People know about that. They ain't really got much to do with comedy, but um, it's a vending machine. Well I, well, I got a new vending machine company, Can and you we. Put um, some- some yeah, power we, punch in it. I shall. Um, we got ten vending machines um, for our vending machine business, and I just started. Uh, just hey. bought a, just bought my first franchise yesterday. So. Oh, it is good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we good. Yeah, now we got a uh, we got a Janet King franchise. I know. So. Do y'all do houses? We we'll do whatever. Because <laughs> you need your, you know, your, 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 whatever. You need Where can everybody follow you? And stuff? Uh, so you can follow me on Instagram at mark underscore caesar. That's C A E. S A R like Caesar like the salad dressing, and um, you can follow me on Twitter at piss your pants one. That's P I S S Y O pants. If y'all know how to spell pants and the number one. Pants. Yeah, yeah, Pants. Yeah. Piss your pants. Check home now. Are you related to the Caesars? They have club Caesars. That's spelled with an E in the front. Oh, look, I'm dyslexic. It all looks the same. Mm-hmm. All right, so. Are you related to the C? I be wanting to plug on Tuesday. Nah. Nothing to do with seafood Tuesdays. I need to go see Uncle Captain Charles. All right. Drunk man. You ready? Huh? I was trying, trying to get, get Mark on alive. alive. Oh, thanks, Megan. I appreciate Not it. Not a problem, so, man. We gonna plug know your, your yourself, <laughs> your stuff. She can't even Cause my girl been hosting everything. You did some Christmas. You uh, feel events. me? You feel me? Well, that's Talk all in the shit, past. Man. Nah. Well, I'm really for the month of, uh, oh, <clears throat> hey, y'all, everybody, I'm Megan Rachel, uh, comedian, event producer, uh, that's Megan, okay, pronounced Megan with a New not Orleans Megan. accent, not, not Megan, Megan. Megan, all right, drag it out. follow me on Instagram, that's Megan Rachel, that's M-A-E-G-A-N-R-A-C-H-E-L, follow me on there, uh, next year I plan on producing a lot more comedy, a lot more films, and I'm also going to do a YouTube launch party next year, because I really my YouTube to start popping, uh, so I'm gonna do more music video parodies, just a lot more comedy, a lot more uh, just content. And our first show is April 3rd next year at the Carver Theater, and um. On January 10th, I have a vision board party. So anybody that's looking to really set out their vision and intentions for next year, January 10th at the Carver Theater, Vibrant Vision. Our company is having a. A, vi- a vision board party so if you want to put whatever you have out into the air we all come out we put everything that we want to happen in that year uh, who we want to meet who we want to work with who we want to be in life how we want to grow and we all just stand in agreement to that so if you want to be a part of that tickets to $15 flyers gonna come out for that next week um, just be on the lookout. Come follow me on Instagram. I post everything pretty much on there and on Facebook. So if you come on out and you follow me, you're going to see what's popping. 2020 is going zoom. Sure, Megan sure, Rachel man. in a building. Y'all go fuck oh, with that, man. I'm yeah. proud of you. Oh, y'all Megan. funny. Thank you. <laughs> Tip, tipsy <laughs> Megan, damn it. I ain't drunk yet. After this, I'm going to be drunk. Give her a shot. <laughs> I'm not taking no <laughs> shot. Uh-huh. All right, since we got the big celebrities out the way, we're going to talk about this. Little people. Alleged. The yeah. people. Alleged Jay Z and Yay beef. Cause that's what happened when you take that's why you have to be if you're famous, you gotta watch your facial expression. Cause they done made these people beef in apparently. But that's how I feel if you come from my if a nigga come for me and I be asked. Mm-hmm. If a nigga come for Wait, me, my husband better be not smiling his face and all that are because you Beyonce, though? Huh? So you all be hunting, that's what you just said? Yes. All right. <laughs> so many words. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. But it was not the, the real. <laughs> I don't know where you're going with that. The misunderstanding. <laughs> Y'all don't see the familiar? <laughs> really, though. <laughs> they call me Nose. Um, they call me Nose. nose. <laughs> but it was that picture. This infamous picture. People I don't even think they beef or no. Like, I, don't I don't think either. I think it was just a picture. He was it like, was we're here. Like, uh, this nigga, you know, we had a little whatever. I'm going to be cool and cordial. And the camera just caught him in his mind. Because right. a lot of creators, we get in our mind a lot. Yeah. And I give a lot of dead blank stares. And people think I'm like staring at them or judging them or thinking I'm like, nigga, I wasn't even looking at you. The right. thing is, like, I don't even think it was that deep. Yeah. Well, I, I think thinking, it's just the camera just snapped. And then turned I'm it thinking Jay Z made him like, oh, my shoe on time. Then I seen a oh, million pictures. I seen, I seen a million pictures. Of them yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the party, what Jay. 
look like that all night. Right. But he well, wouldn't even know what around you. He took the phone out the Right, and hand. that could have they could have took that picture right after that. After he checked the phone out, dude, I also saw who recording his wife dancing. Up, like, him, like, exactly. You could take a million things about a picture and run with it. Run with anything yeah. you want based on somebody's face. Now, I feel like both of them got too much money to be beefing with anybody. Right. And, and, and let alone each other. Let alone each other. That's the truth. Yes, and they said that they that. pieced it up a long right. time ago. Right. And that's when Ye was on his rant shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything which, was a rant. Which, all, which in, the, in, in all reality, all this could change tomorrow because Ye could exactly. say some off the wall right. dumbass shit tomorrow. At any given moment. And, 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 and we know Kanye that. Kanye going through some shit. <laughs> Mentally. That nigga need He's been going through some shit. Yeah. But at the end of the day. But I don't know if he's. I think he in a sunken place. Like your boy on Get Out. They got that cup. Can fix the Wait, who you think in the sucking place? Yeah, yeah. Mm, agreed. He in the sucking place. I don't. I'm trying to. I'm like, I want people to. He like, may be getting out Jesus, now, but I'm trying to figure out if his intentions are good. And you got a question like his own. And a lot of people use a lot of people use Jesus and God for money because Christianity I mean, is like a billion dollar industry. Right. So if you want to get the Christians to get that's money, the, that's the end of the second. They'll pay for anything that's for that's salvation. The, that's the prostitution and then then their religion. And their religion. Religion. Yeah, it's definitely awesome. And I don't, and I don't know if he, I don't know if it's if how Ye coming with it, but the fact that you got a question and say something. Yeah, that it don't feel genuine. But this is my thing. Feel, it all started when it, it felt forced. Died. I don't care what anybody yeah, says. I kind of feel that. But on the, on the yeah. same token, yeah. just last year, your hit, your song was, I'm a sick fuck. I like the quick fuck. I like my dick suck. But you go, Now you don't want nobody cursing around you. You also go through those phases, too. too. Right. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to allow for human yeah. evolution, too. Well, you definitely you grew fast. Save. You had a gross spurt. But that happens a lot. Of hell, one year you could be sucking dick and smoking crack, and the next year you could really be delivering and helping out, us. That, that year. But then you classify as a dick sucking crackhead. You no, you not. Well, we're you not. You cannot. You cannot. Yo, we gonna let you change. We gonna let you change, but we ain't gonna let you forget. I don't like men no more. I've been delivered. You no. You we ain't gonna let you forget. If you ain't sucking dick and smoking crack no more, nobody should keep bringing it up to you. We ain't gonna let you forget. Nah, fuck, no. That ain't happening. I can see us at a party now. You remember you smoking that shit? I can see us now. Uh-uh, nah, you no, ain't nothing you forget. No, I just felt like every year you can change drastically. You can. Every day. See, that but it's you also called schizophrenia by only, only, No, it's not. Only women think that. No, but, it's not. How long do you think it's But this is the thing, though. I know it don't. Some people go cold turkey on stage. Why do you think they pass could get deleted? I ain't a hoe no more. Right. So y'all need to respect me. Nah, we still gonna treat you like you backseat. That legacy live on like Pac and Biggie, baby. That legacy live on. Like a you I won't treat you like a hoe, but I'm letting you know your legacy live on. If they not acting like a hoe. I don't treat Michael Jordan like a basketball player, but I know what he did. First of all, if you used to be a hoe, and then you came with me again, and now you're talking about you're not a hoe no more, I don't believe you. I don't believe Why did you come again? Why you to reform you, you too. Be a hoe. You knew you got. Tra- you knew that. <laughs> you really. used to be a hoe. You knew it, nigga. Like you you know me. me. <laughs> oh, she I'm... thought you were talking about the other. I was like, wait, what? See, you am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all something, <laughs> man. Everybody was saying like, like they had people bashing me because I'm, 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 I'm tell you, I'm totally off ye. Like I'm off ye. I got him blocked on social I'm media like me. he was following me. I'm, 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 I'm off ye. I'm off ye. Like I'm off him. Like I don't want to hear none of that shit. Yeah, I'm with. I'm the same. But my thing you. is, people was like, "Well, y'all, y'all, how y'all gonna get mad at this man for yeah. for finding Christ?" I'm I like, mad at him. I'm not. I'm like, I'm not mad at him for finding Christ. But that's the same thing Jim Jones had going on too. Bali? No, no, Jim Jones, the, the original <laughs> the Jim with Jones the with the Kool Aid. Yeah, yeah, all right. On a ranch, the co- living the in the, the cult. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. that's how that shit started too. Period. See, but I don't even so, I don't even look at that. I just feel like Kanye just steadily man, reaching from one thing <laughs> to the next thing. That boy really. Yeah, yeah, anything that's popular yeah. or popping right now, yeah, he's he gonna go it. to for a money pit. A and lot of shit I he make pop. I think he mentally he he's not in a good. Pop. I think mentally he's in an off. Play. I said not. He making church pop right now. Sunken, yeah, sunken. Yeah, he's just in a very yeah. weird space he, right now. He so he's his trying mama. to. Yeah, he's trying to find himself again. You see little bits of old Kanye, but you also see the new bits of that new crazy shit he uh, on too. So Kardashian his mama curse. being gone really truly mad. Like, yeah, that's, that's I think that that really affected. For black boys, that matters a lot because your mom is your like primary primary figure. And when he came out, everything was about his mom. Wouldn't be with Kim if mom was alive. At all, that was trying to fry chicken when she died. I said, "Bitch, if you don't take that chicken back to your house, you know what make me forget." I bring no fried chicken to this man. What? 
another graduation album. That'll never happen. It'll never that happen. That bitch was so fucking That's like Wayne making another Carter yeah. too. It'll never happen. It'll never happen. Yeah. Never happen. Yeah. That bitch Is that was, Good Morning? Yes. Though, that bitch was so... Like, that's what really drive me about Kanye. Like, bitch, you was fucking cold. It'll never happen. And now you just a fucking weirdo. He's just a husband. The writers was a cold. A lot of that... That shit, that shit happened to a lot of these motherfuckers. Though. Wayne. Wayne is the... They the Bruh, I'm telling Wayne you. Wayne said Wayne just got engaged. It's time to a 22-year-old. I'm not surprised. That was, All that old niggas get to a certain age and start marrying but to me, teenagers. I think that means the women your age... Like, the yeah, you can't control them. I mean, they're not fertile no more. If no, no fuck all that. A nigga. That facts. That's, that's not facts. Not You're about, yeah, that's facts. That's facts. You know, if you say facts fast, it's, it's true. If you say facts fast, it's true. If you say facts soon, somebody said it's true. You could go. Facts. Bitches that's 25, bitches that's 30, bitches that's 35, they still fertile as fuck. No, they're not. I've been trying. That's they are. You a nigga. That might be your sperm. Doing drugs. It's them. It's them. It's, it's them. them. The fuck you gonna try to put that on it's that lady uterus? It's them. It's them. Cause guess what? My uterus is unused and it's still it's fresh them. and ready to go. It's them. Either, Anybody know, with great views? It's they them. They can't tell me, oh my fucking uterus, that pussy is old. No. By the time it get forty, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what a new shit at? I'm younger than Bucket. Sure. I think niggas who talk to old, yeah, I'm really young girls as insecure as How young? Who is Bucket? How and you talking to a bitch who is 10 years plus. No, either you really, no, either you, you really, are is, desperate. Either you insecure you're or you control. really, really feeling yourself. And you're not a control. <laughs> to even shoot at that young A lot of niggas my age, let me say my age, niggas who I went to high school and niggas who I went to college with, they talking to girls who are just leaving high school, who are in college. Yikes. Because guess what? Them girls looking like, oh, he got a car, he got an apartment, he got this, he got that and bitches my age looking like yeah, but see, them where's bro- your investments but where's them, this where's the turnaround where's the like and I, right. I expect more of you so right. I'm gonna push you to do more them right. bitches is happy with where you're at right. well, and if you want a bitch you gonna push you for that's more that's, that's, that's not gonna right. go to a more mature but let's talk about niggas who got a little something niggas who got shit they still go for insecure bitches because those are bitches who also but niggas cause they say oh I want independent you get an independent woman I got shit to do I can't always fucking cuddle and cradle you for Fucking ass. Sometimes you gotta fucking be on your fucking own. So and a lot of times, man, man y'all niggas is babies. I don't give a fuck what no niggas say. Y'all is babies. And, and they think like, oh, I want the independent, but then you get eight to six. You get with her, and you like, damn, she don't got enough time for me. So now you gonna fuck with this bitch who don't got shit going for herself. Cause now she got all this time for you, all this emotion for you. Y'all heard me? That's cause she rubbing nigga a little bit. That's that. That ain't got time to rub. That's a little bit of that. I got time to rub a nigga every day. She rub a nigga back like rubs. I'm in the NBA. Black man. No, I'm in the game. She know I don't play. She know just what to do to make me say well, I don't stay. But yeah. she know I got work. Yeah. She know I got to work. Is, she buy is, my socks, boxers, and t-shirts. Kids don't even know what you're saying. But, but back to, I mean, but, but also, even when you talking about that's Wayne a, that back rub is different. Huh? I don't know. Even Y'all better start rubbing back. With the 22-year-old, I mean, he's still doing young nigga shit, too. Right, he's getting He's still in the club. He's still like that. Like That's the people. That's the blind dreams. Nigga skateboard. skateboard you man. on the thin he line of pedophilia. You know what I'm saying? Well, he wore Jeremy Scott's, you know, nah, with the teddy bear on him. Will he ever move home? You looking that's for mind control? Like, a lot of that's mind control. I, a lot of niggas with big egos like that, they need to control, control they, your they mind. They come in contact with the nigga in the club five, six times a week. Like who you think in the, the club? Not no big, you know it's something woman, small. Yeah, but you got thirty olds and you got business women. You got people with shit going for themselves. You're not, not picking the out the women five, six times a week and nine well, times out of ten if she a business. Let me tell you something. My OG, double. my now OG, that look like a baby. Fucking Martian. She probably not. When got him a Tony Braxton. And then, and then, he got Tony Braxton. Baby also has a star tattooed on his head. But, <laughs> but for the right woman, you'll get your platinums out your mouth. And then they they broke up. <laughs> they ain't broke up. Uh huh. You understand mm-hmm. me? But niggas be wanting bitches I'm to go do everything, everything with people. them. I'm telling you. Niggas don't want to go do nothing with a bitch. Right she do. Here. That's my yeah, OG, I mean, though. I, I ain't that's got weird. too much. Y'all bad see my comedy money? It's a reason. Huh? That's, that's my people. I ain't that's got too much bad to say about Baby and Tony Braxton. Yeah, I mean, I would beg. Because I know coming up, we all want to Tony Braxton. Tony's like a living legend. She likes seven years old. Tony Braxton like weird cats, though, because she used to mess with Dennis Rodman, too. I like her voice and her as an artist, but she ain't my type. Yeah, she's like weird cats. She like weird cats. You wouldn't smash Tony Braxton. 
She ain't my lesbian on my lesbian level list. Right. She too old. She like. But I love her always an artist. That's singer. your drinking wine partner. I, 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 I look like this. I ain't gonna say I ain't gonna do it. I fuck with Timo. So Megan, who on your list? I don't know. Tony so huh? different. Wait a second. Especially the bald head Tony Braxton. I told y'all all women gay anyway, so. All men are gay too. We talked about no, that last episode. Yeah. But we improved nothing. We're not about to talk about that shit. <laughs> but we do want to thank y'all for coming. I was trying to see who was on Megan. We really appreciate y'all I appreciate y'all having A me. lot of bitches. Y'all go show love to our people, In no man. opinions. I love it. Here, man. Yeah. Show love, follow us on the gram. Let me know if y'all need us. Come to our shows. Y'all become big celebrities. Talk we building people. up this comedy shit in New Orleans because comedy in New Orleans really wasn't a thing until I'll say about two years ago. Like lies, you know, Megan. No, people don't sit here and do that. Man, no, so listen. He's Eighteen years in the game. No. no. And what Mark been doing? Mark been traveling. Mark has been all I've over. I've been selling out here too. But no, but listen. The bag. Let me say, comedy don't have a home. They get into the bag. In New Orleans, and comedy we don't had, have a home. We, we have from home. When we had a home, comedy club in New Orleans, who was the owner? Yeah, but that was open for how long? I mean, I, I had to dip, but I mean, but it's, still, that's what I'm but saying. We had Let me get to my point. Man, my point she don't is, want have to dip no more. Com- exactly. Right. I'm saying I want a home for comedy. I'm saying I don't want us hopping all over. I don't want us having we to go got to, to man. Just be- no, we don't. What's we the get game? our own venue. But see, that's what we, we still every have to move city around. got venues. And we still want to move around. And not if I own the venue. Let me but tell you that's what. That's what we were talking about, Megan, too earlier the with, the, with the bounce. You still gonna have to go on other places. You gonna have to, Megan. It, it's a vi- Let me tell you what Larell told and me. And not saying that you're not gonna have to, but you don't have to as much. And you can put on for other people. You can give people a platform that we don't have here. You can oh, say yeah, it as exactly. much as you want to say we don't. We do not have that comedy venue well, that is known for like an well, improv or just a comedy I mean, zone oh, or a right. funny zone. Right. Right. We don't have that in New Orleans. Right. We right. have we people go to Cafe right. Instable. We go to we whatever venue really we can get into to make a comedy show. And we've been doing that shit. We've been pushing it. But I do want a, a space. Yes, I do want a space for New Orleans. New Orleans, Orleans could stuff. use one, but at the yes. same time, I yes. feel I still don't feel like like that's like New Orleans comedy wasn't a, like not a thing. Yeah, niggas right. still because comedy. Right. We don't have a home. Right. Let's say that. Right. Like the same. Yeah, home. but to, we don't but have to say, we don't have a laugh. But people, but people don't, go. Don't, don't, don't go into deep into what I say because I'm correcting it now because I'm no. No, 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 no. But I'm not going home. No, you know, come on, man. You know, we better than that. Yeah, no, I know that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Uh, uh, no. Nah, because at the end of the day, we know what it revert back to. Like all I'm saying is, is this: New Orleans comedy is 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 still new. Mm-hmm. Even no matter how long I've been doing it, or who been doing it, Very. it's always gonna be new, and it's always gonna be like the eight fiddle thing to do in New Orleans. Even if we had a club, it's gonna be the thing that people gonna be the last thing people decide they wanna go do. Mm-hmm. Let's we could just we could run off a whole list of things that people would do before they actually go to a comedy show. And let me say this, it's the online content to me that's been popping off in the last two years. New Orleans then wasn't on the map. We need a spot. But yes, we didn't have the online presence that Atlanta have, that LA have, True. that that's New York true. have, we don't have that. And we, so, didn't, we didn't have the online presence until true. about two, three years ago. So what's Super Tokyo, Donovan, what they was doing? But they they've they been there how long? But it's been, they, about, been but since they, 2012. But were they truly considered comedians? They no, they were doing, they didn't do no stand-up. I mean stand-up on stage. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about like... But you say online content. Yeah, but that's still on stage because you're bringing your audience from online to your shows. <laughs> you are. So look, I want to ask, ask y'all this. Is it a difference between stand-up comedians and hell comedian yes. comedians? Hell yeah! And what, and re, and what like regard? In what regard? Because I one chance to be funny on social media. Hell yeah! Do it. Hell yeah! Yeah, I get, hell that's yeah. the difference. But other than that, I mean, comedy so is comedy. No, no, it's not. 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 I have done comedy for years. I have done recording comedy and writing shit for years. Stand-up is a whole nother monster. Yeah, a whole nother monster. And everybody who do everything you just said is still comedy. But everybody who do online content can't get on stage sure. and they don't need to and everybody that's on stage can't get online right. I've met stand up comedians who I try to put in a skit and I'm like eh, okay yeah. and also people who have done skits and try to put on stage and you're like so eh, do you think, okay so do you think, well, that's, think, re- do you think that's the reason too, why the New Orleans comedy scene is the way it is no that's no. just general that's the general yeah, that's thing that's, that's general I feel like we have a bunch of funny fucking people I think a lot of people in New Orleans already have like superstar syndrome and y'all so, know how many comedians yeah. we have in New Orleans that, it's a lot no I'm gonna tell y'all I'm gonna tell y'all a legit number we have 175 comedians here white black Spanish, New Indian, also all kinds. We got we got 175 comedians here. That right. doesn't a lot. It's not just in comedy, I would say, and I'm not a comedian, but in a lot of arenas, the crab in the barrel 
syndrome yeah. takes over. Yeah. So it's like it's yeah. very few and like time that you're gonna find a group of people to link up and do it together and push yeah. each other to be better right. and feel right. like the bag big enough for all of us to get yeah. to as opposed to everybody feeling like but I feel like that's a New Orleans thing because it is I don't I'm, I don't for, see that for years New Orleans had the most record independent record labels yep. per capita yeah. right. in the country right? yeah in this small ass city had the most independent record labels so as far as LLCs. Me? You know what that tell me? That people don't fuck they, with each other. They don't want Niggas don't fuck right. with each other. Think of all how long no, no limited cash money was big. They, they had up. never did a track together. Be, I'm on my own. So, local, I don't know. Y'all, y'all heard me talk about my company, Vibrant Vision Productions. So, that's a company me and my brother have, Rob Cosby. And earlier this year, in this, September 20, we had a show. Shout and that out to show, Rob, man. Shout out to my brother, Rob Cosby, y'all. But we had that show September 20, and I really, really, my biggest goal for that show was to take all local talents and put us on a platform to where we can be seen and to where we can work together. And, and that did. shit really was nice. Yeah, and to you. see mm-hmm. that, and even after the show, people that, like, a lot of people didn't know each other. After the show, I'm seeing them make skits together, them working together, them doing it. Like, that shit really made my yeah, heart happy. You. Like, but to have that platform and do that, you have to keep building on it and not just worry about your own growth or your own platform. You, gotta stop. you can't just worry about it. You also gotta I'll, be humble enough to... Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of people have a hard time with that. It is, especially, especially in New Orleans. Yeah, especially. and because I just came out too, so it's like I just really started being on a scene last year. But niggas don't know, nigga, I went to school for this. Right. I went to school for theater. I went right. to school for dance. Like I've been doing writing and doing. I just didn't have a that personality. Be like, let me get on stage. Like I have it, but I was such in a shell from like my Keep family running. being so religious. So Keep running, bitch. you know, and so and I we'll just started coming out there. I'm ready. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, ready. Not with the rain, not with the Rudolph hat though. Yeah, but New Orleans, we come, we on a map. We coming out just like New Orleans bounce music y'all. coming out. Y'all doing New Orleans thing. comedy I'm scene. I'm proud. With y'all. It's coming out more and more and more and more, and we gonna have a building. So y'all keep yeah, doing y'all that, and, But I understand exactly what you're saying. Like even when in other cities, like you said, like someone like the Laugh Factory, or like even in Houston, I li- I live in Houston now. So with the improv, it's like if if whoever coming to Houston. They gonna stop at the improv. Yes, they gonna do it's like, weekly that's packed, where they out. Go to work packed out. out weekly. Yeah, that's where they go to work. Out. Well, there, you come to town. We don't you gonna have go that. to the improv. Yeah, so we yeah. might that, that might be. We don't have that, but but you also gotta have enough. We about to 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 support it year round. But that's like what I'm saying. It comes. It, it gotta start know. local. And it gotta we start have local first. What, what, what I think the one of the biggest like marketing tools where our locals mess up at is trying to reach locals. Right. Niggas have. That's you got tourists in every week and they roll out. Right. So they roll out every week. You got a fresh new batch of tourists. Yeah. Every week you got a new chance to build your house. Niggas so not coming so, to New Orleans to see no comedy. We so big, yeah. we so big yeah. on trying to get local people. We never really reach out to those gotta, tourist that's people. That's why I have to support mm-hmm. the business. Yeah, and it's a lot of people. That's gonna keep yeah, the business afloat. a lot of people came to our shows from out of town. Right. Like we had people from New Orleans too. But we had a lot of people from out of town who drove down an hour away, two hours away, three hours away just to come to our show. That's the internet. And that's, that's good. Just that, from that, the that, internet. That's yeah. great. That <laughs> from the internet. That's yeah. The but I'm a, yeah, but right I'm gonna tell you. Somebody jokes to an empty house. So you got to get... And sometimes you do got to tell a joke to you. Oh, you tell a joke I just did last house. weekend. You going to tell it. You going to... Hey, everybody. You going you gonna to have plenty of uh, cracked <laughs> up uh, front even. rows. Right, but that's but when you work on your shit. Like, all I'm... All I'm... All, look, I'm going to tell you. All I'm saying is... Is that um, New Orleans is in a good place with comedy right now. We have one of the hottest comedy scenes in the country. Right. Period. And that's coming from someone who performs all over the country. We right. have one of the hottest scenes. Right. And we have the funniest comedians. I, I was about I to say, I feel like people. If that's what I really feel. That's what pissed funny. me off. We have the mm-hmm. funniest but, like, people. But that's like, for us. But but that's for us to prove other places because here we all pretty much equal. All right. When we step out, it's different yeah. because them other comedy, them cities that got comedy clubs, they got a comedy club. They expect right. to laugh in the comedy club. Right. When you gotta go book silkies to do a comedy show. Then niggas come in there like, I'm about to smoke a cool, and yeah, I'm about to joke, and I'm about to eat a seafood plate. Right. Who I the fuck this nigga is serious. up there? And if you making them up, exactly. Think, I, think the only thing, I think the only thing with that is a lot of New Orleans people keep their comedy New Orleans. Like, a lot of us keep our comedy because we're very, like, sacred with our New Orleans, like, yeah. slang and jokes yeah, yeah, and yeah, landmarks. But at like, the same time. We keep our comedy a lot in New Orleans, so you try to travel with that shit, that shit not going to carry if you in... 
in Indianapolis that, talking about no, some that, Cajuns and they right, gonna just go be like to what we right, saying exactly. about the bounce you order they, like, they diversify you know, your exactly Everybody you gotta be mainstream I'm gonna tell y'all from my from my experiences of touring party. from my experiences of touring when people come to see me they want to see New Orleans when they come to see me, they, they want, want to see New Orleans. Baby. They want, they want that. Oh, they they want, want you to right. they but want, you can't really make all your references, can you? No, but you know, you see, you my, really you see, you see my set, so you know my shit is different. But yeah, my stuff is saying. different even for but New just, Orleans. But, just, but, you, but you, I, you I'm just telling you from experience, a level like you right, can't. But, you can't I'm talking. Mm. I, I understand what you're saying, Megan. <laughs> I do understand what you're saying. <laughs> but at the same time. Most of those comedians who who do step out and and bring the New Orleans shit there and it's strictly New Orleans, they never step out again. Right. They just stay home. More than the one trick pony. Yeah, they just Mm -hmm. stay home and they 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 kill what they kill. They kill here. They kill here. We definitely can't wait to see y'all. But just kill it here. Get a big enough. I'm waiting on the Superdome where y'all like all the shit. Yeah, we following the journey. I definitely know. I definitely know New Orleans comedy is hot when I put out my show for my for my birthday show. And I, that's why I never, I never experienced the crab in the barrel mentality. All right, so I found the Pitch of Pan's comedy in 2010. Mm-hmm. I found the Pitch of Pan's comedy in 2010. And in Pitch of Pan's comedy, we bought the world uh, uh, Jose Nacho Negro, Brady, uh, Courtney G, um, um, Mario P, Shervy, Mark Caesar. Um, even when I was shit New Orleans, girl, say videos and all that type of stuff in the first 48 New Orleans. All those things that we was doing over time to reach out to what we now we got comedians in Houston, we got comedians in New York, we got comedians in in in, in Dallas, we got comedians in LA. As far as Pitcher Pants comedy, so what it was was like to build a network to like say if Megan said, hey, I'm about to go to Dallas, who you know in Dallas, I get some stage time. Mm-hmm. Boom! Now we got the comedy network to where you can reach out and say, all right, now you gonna get some stage time, get some money in your pocket for performing right. while you're in whatever city. So. Just doing that, I feel like when that was when we started when we even started kick, started kicking that off, you know, it was growing the comedy scene. Mm. Even even then, a lot of people didn't even know that we had comedy shows. And then even before then, when I was a little puppy doing comedy, I've been doing comedy since I was 15 years old. I'm doing shows at the autocrat. I can't even get in. They can't even bring me in until it's my time to go on stage. And then they, when I when I got to get off stage, they got to bring me out at the autocrat back in the G. On right. the Fish Night Fridays. Hustling. You dig? Then then doing comedy with Jude and Blowfish, you know, God bless you. Thank you. Doing comedy with, with Jude and Blowfish and them at a very young age. I'm on stage. And at the time, Jude and them was heavy hitters. Mm-hmm. You know, the city knew them, but the city still didn't didn't know. Embrace the true comedy. Yeah, the- yeah. So I felt like mm-hmm. I was the first one to get on the shows who had went to Orleans Parish School. And see, that make a huge difference because you you went to school with people who knew you was funny. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I had been doing comedy since high school. On Ferret, we had a comedy club on Ferret. So I, I, it was in my backyard to just walk and go right. perform at the club. So with that, it brought a whole different dynamic to the stage. Mm-hmm. And I know gotta, I, you gotta understand that you the exception to the rule and not the rule. I would say I would say I would I would and I won't I won't I won't mm-hmm. fight that. I, I won't fight I won't fight that I'm the exception, but I also won't ignore the fact that I've it seen I've you. seen numbers grow right. for other people also. Off that brand. Off the brand, just off the strength mm-hmm. of the brand and the branching out and everything. So then you got comedy going, you got throw it off, and you got you got so many you got brilliant idiot. You got so many things that branched off from it. And now everybody put their shows together. We all come together, collab on shows, book each other, stuff like that. And you got so much that go on. In New Orleans comedy scene, you can go and perform at there's probably two shows a night that you can go do time on. Mm-hmm. At any given part of the city. There's shows in mid city. There's shows uptown. There's shows around Frenchmen. There's even y'all shows in the quarter. The, y'all gotta be you got the shows in the east. Yeah. Exactly. Say, so there's shows we everywhere. Know what to support. But at the end of the day, New Orleans people you know what I'm saying? We 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 we've been instilled in us. We we do a lot of free fun in New Orleans. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's people right. still got to get used to paying for shit here. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Like so, and they, we ain't doing no free shows. I'm mean, making we ain't fucking with it. We ain't doing no free shows. But I mean, I, we do some free shows. But I was going all back to say like to say that crab in the barrel thing. The way see, I don't see it, and I may be the exception. But like for my birthday, for instance, for my birthday show, my birthday show sold out in two hours at 300 tickets. 
Where was it? It was at the Gym Theater on Thelly Street. So, right. and that's, that's a, because... I think I see it more, too, because I'm new. Right. Like, you've been doing it for so long, and, and I'm new, so a lot of people just, like, oh, you came out the woodworks, you already doing this, you already doing this show, you already on this certain thing, and just like... But you my came nigga, in with it on your mind, though. Yes, my nigga, and you don't know how long it took me to grind to get to where I'm at, to yeah. save up, to quit my job, to right. hit it how I hit it. Like, you can't say, oh, a person just started, like, I went to school for this, I only didn't pursue theater and dance because my nigga money called me at the hospital, and right. I was like, all right, let me go do this, I'm just gonna do this for like a year, two right. years, six years past by and uh, I still was there and I was like hold up wait a minute like let me get back to what I really want to do and when I hop back in I'm like nigga this been who I am I just was distracted for a second so I think it caught niggas off guard and so I do feel the crabs in the barrel a little bit more but But I think I like what you just did with everybody bringing them together that's gone yes yes and 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 people tell me a lot like take care of yourself first Megan like put yourself on first like even when I did that people still was in my ear like you taking on too much, you're trying to include too many people, like you reaching out to too many people. And like that's you how do- like people remember. You're doing them. too much, yeah, you're doing too much, like just worry about yourself or just, you know, just put you and your brother out there first and then yeah. you know you'll pick and everybody out. And that's why there's this circle of and people just all like, looking out I do themselves. feel like in a certain sense, like yeah, I have your own personal, but my heart is never going to give. Yeah. And plus like, that magnitude of the show that y'all did, y'all really needed, um, more comics. I, yeah. I feel like so. I, I feel like it was right. You know. But everybody told me do a smaller show. That's yeah, what it was. It's like do a smaller show. You don't need as many comics. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. And it's like y'all I want to do. To y'all sh- didn't want to do a show. Y'all want to do a production. I wanted to show that New Orleans talent can put together a major production. Mm-hmm. We not. We don't have to be just New Orleans. Like we can here. take this show and we can go anywhere entertain. Mm-hmm. And that's really what I want to put behind. Like just being on stage, but behind a production. Like having shit recorded. It, edited sound effects, music, like just doing the whole full comedy thing. Cause we looked up a lot to the Wayne's family, right. and that's kind of where we come from. That's what we grew up on, and that's who we kind of idolize in a sense to be like. So when it comes to comedy, I don't look at it like a one-dimensional thing. I look at it like so many layers to it, and it includes so many people. Right. But because I still, if I give you I my still comedy, call that the success though, which y'all pulled yeah. off. Oh no, they show was successful. Oh, so yeah. that was a great show. It was a good show. At, at the well, end of the day, I feel like y'all should sure. keep doing what y'all doing. For y'all sure. Y'all sure. in the right and position. Sure. You know how the naysayers regardless. Yeah. You gotta do you. Our next show, y'all always have, y'all always have the support of an opinion. So let us, April 3rd. You was at the last show. Who else was at the last show? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. No, no, you was there, Mark. Yeah. Mark and Jazz was there, nigga. You was in there. I wasn't. I was out of town. Dean was there. He was there? Yeah, he was. He was there. You did go to the show. It was official. Aww. I had a VIP ticket. Appreciate y'all coming through. It was love. Thank y'all for having me. One minute is a wrap. Uh, one minute. Well, no, we just really want. We appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah, we Not have, a problem. It was fun. Man, y'all yeah. come back, man. Anytime. Straight up. Thank y'all for having anytime us. Anytime y'all have anything, come, that's come all. through, man. Yeah. We gonna support. All girls are not gay. Think they ain't. All girls is gay. <laughs> yeah.